Anybody? Anybody? Anybody listening? I die. Anybody listening? I die. Anybody? Anybody? Anybody listening? I said I die. Anybody listening? I said I die. Anybody? Anybody? Anybody listening? Seven years ago, God put it on my heart to start Bridge the Gap. And I got busy because I had a good job. And I didn't follow my son. So God took my good job because he wanted greater. And that greater for me is this night with you all here, us celebrating us, networking us, loving each other, and this book. This book came, I called some friends, texted some friends, posted on social media. Could you give me a snapshot story of your life? So we can reach back and grab the next generation. Because I feel like my generation, we kind of dropped the ball. So before we lecture these kids, we're going to reach back and love them and share some of our ugliness, but our triumphs as well. And that's what Letters of Empowerment to the Next Generation is the story of us, collective effort. The funds from this event is funding a scholarship for you that have an incarcerated parent. That's another thing that strikes close to me. And as a professional, I didn't share that. A lot of people were asking me, where's your son father? He was in the army. But he wasn't. He was incarcerated. And now he's no longer with us. But it's dear to my heart. Because my son is dear to my heart. And there's a lot of sons and daughters that are dear to people's heart. And they are our children. They are the community's children. And funding this scholarship, purchasing this book, and supporting Bridge the Gap 314 will continue to mother these children, to be the village and the community that we once were. So I thank you all for showing up, and I celebrate you all for all showing up. And I applaud you also for being giving, having a gift of giving on your spirit. And thank you for coming tonight. Well, you are awesome! <laughs> work in the Normie Schools Collaborative. I see a lot of familiar faces. I'm a reading instructional coach at the elementary level. Um, I also see a lot of Wellstonians present. Um, and Wellstonians are graduates of Wellston High School, so it is very good to see you. I am an alumni, a proud alumni of Wellston, so it is very good to see all of you all present today. Um, again, we're going to carry on with our program. And before I carry on, I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge the woman who passed the baton to me, um, an elder of the great sorority, Delta Sigma Theta, Mary Kay Jones is in the back. If you could just raise your hand. She said the foundation of all of us to raise the village so thank you for instilling in me everything that I have become from Harris Stowe State College thank you we are going to start our fall fashion and all of us present can um, appreciate good fashion and so we have our local boutique boutique owner Tanya she's located in Hazelwood Missouri and without further ado I'm going to turn it over to the owner of Boutique Boutique. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. This is my first fashion show.
be blessed by spoken word at this time from Robia, and if I mispronounce your name, please charge it to my head and not my heart. Robia Ignite. <laughs> on and allow me to rock. I normally rock with a band, but I wasn't that fortunate tonight because I would have totally went all the way there with y'all. So we're going to do an acapella. Is that all right? Yeah. yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. What kind of mood we in tonight? Good mood? Yeah. Good mood. Bless. 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 Everybody went to church today? Yeah. Yeah. Did you pray for me? Because I didn't make it there. Yeah. 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 So I lost my papa. I lost my papa the other months ago, back in February, and he was a, a hopping over the bench type preacher. And so um, this is my my dedication to him. Good Lord, Tommy Lee is in my veins. I couldn't say it no more clear, so I yell out your name, Papa. Peanut butter jelly hot ham is on the table. The cereal is in the bowl that's my spoon, I'm fighting and fussing with my younger brother and older sisters. Like whose turn it is to scrub the dishes, we singing some old gospel rhymes. We singing in the choir's hallelujah time. Faith Temple, Baptist Church, my uncle toting on the keys, papa jumping over benches. My granny, she had a candy stove. The fried chicken in the back, can y'all smell the aroma of a breeze? Mother, with a white cloth. They putting it on their knees because the skirt too short. Hey, Deacon, my daddy praying so long. Praying for the sinners ain't nothing changed. Work it out, Johnny, need a new pair of shoes. Work it out, Mama, say the light they'll do. Work it out, sister, standing on the corner. Work it out, Mama, praying all night long. I said it's lonely without you here with me. But to be absent in the body means present with the Lord, Papa. All aboard, take a trip. Sleep on Morgan, take a bow, job well done. Walking on the water by the water, knee bent. He was walking on the water by the water, knee bent. He was praying on the rock of Gibraltar. Praying on the rock of Gibraltar. He yelled, Jesus! When them fools took my body. Jesus! When my mama needed him. He yelled, Jesus! When the church needed him. He yelled, Jesus! And didn't stop to bother. I said, I died one time, and I ain't gonna die no more. I died one time, and I ain't gonna die no more. I said, I died one time, and I ain't gonna die no more. Crying ain't nothing but my train ride home. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, a, I am a, an artist, I'm always into my feelings. I run a, uh, I'm a therapist during the day and an artist by night. And I run an artsy program um, for preferred family health care, and I'm always getting the boys into their feelings. And they always say, Miss Raw, you always make me write about stuff I don't want to talk about. And I'm like, I know, that's good. You don't have to glorify the negativity of the street. That's right from the heart. So I'm always into helping them improve their lives through music. This is dedicated to them. Okay. Right there. No, no, no. I'm sitting on the steps of the steeple, praying hard that God helped me deliver his people. He lended me this body of mine, so how dare I not repay him with my time. This poem is a keeper. I am a delta, Ooh, but I'm a pledge poetry fight to the people. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon, this is my line. I pray on Mount Zion, it's my time. To bring your soul through the wire, well, I spit these poems through the fire. I said, wake up. Wake up to an early morning poem written and constructed into a message that allows the drum to beat up against your cerebellum. I'm intoxicated without the rum. And you play without the whiskey. My words might just leave your mind a little frisky. I'll have you going off the liquid patron without the drug called ethanol. Poetry is my call. 
I'm calling in to reach the souls of those who are lost. In this poem, I can spit metaphors after metaphors and add some assemblies, but honestly, I want to break it on down, break it on down, root, so you can hear me. No fancy words, just feel me. I got too much to lose, y'all, so I choose to live easy. I let my pen do the talking, and I scream through the ink. If you blink, you can miss the thought that I think. I saw death for the first time, where my eyes reflected that of stormy winds and black clouds. You see, I didn't know where to start, so I started back. I closed my eyes and I reflect off the times when I couldn't see straight. People ask me why I write. I said I write for those who are listening, and I write for those who care. I write for those who are stuck. I write for those who contemplate the thought to abort. I told y'all that many people look at life and they take it for granted. I am a lyrical lyricist. I'm a perfectly painted picture, point and set at a perfect angle. Precision in its style, pertinent in this message, perfect this picture is. I am, or you think I'm not, a beautiful beast. <laughs> I'm always on a hustle. Everybody say C. C. D. 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 I got them real good for you, right? <laughs> so if you're interested in this project, I'm not just going to uh, put it out there because it's mine and I think it's good, but it's mine and it is good. It is, it is real good. And so um, I invite you to. Uh, Take a listen to this if you want to. I'm going to do a couple more pieces and I'm going to get out of here. Is that okay? That's fine. Why are y'all so dead? <laughs> How much is the CD? How much is the CD? How much is the CD? Ten dollars. Thank you. And I take classes. Okay. <laughs> because it's all about that, that new school. Okay. Right? <laughs> Wonderful. Um, it's 12 in the morning. I'm zoning. Call me the Queen Cone. Red rose for the broken souls who struggling all night long. I am the imperfect Christian. But don't pity my lifestyle. I need equality to be tired, to be tired of shedding these tears. Move over and let me take your city from you. In a couple of bars, we can shoot to Mars. You can learn something from me. Ta da, da, da. Nurobia's on the mic. To step my art game up. Come on, man, good luck. Universe open up and shine on me. Let the clouds open up and shine on me. If I had a kid, I might just name him Legend. He can carry the legend, let the world know that I was here. Glory! Glory be to God. Hey. I don't love religion, I just love the spiritual side. Hi. Church at 9, 30, 3, 30, back at 7, to the average kid, that would be too much God. But for me, I knew he was on my side. I'm not your holier than thou type of kind of Christian. I'm just your average, imperfect type of kind of Christian on a mission. Won't you listen up? Hey, glory, glory be to God. I don't love religion, I just love the spiritual side, okay? All right. I ain't never really had to try, never really had to lie. Poetry came naturally, and now flowing, said I flow innately. All my queens stand up. Well, I teeth will shut them down. Let's set it off, set it off, set it off up in this mother. Right. I am a lyrical beast. Ignite us who I be. Grandma check who I am. I woke up. Today I woke up wondering if it was my time to die as I lie underneath the sky. My mind is wandering and pondering. I'm sitting on rays like I'm ultraviolet. I never wanted to be a pilot. You see, I suffer from oppression. Impossible depression, I'm guessing. I'll keep pressing on in my long days of playing God to millions of people hypothetically. It's 322 and the clock keeps ticking. Mind racing, peeing, jumping, and I gotta keep spitting. I can't stop, won't stop my body in the days. So left hand, right hand, together I pray. They told me it was new poems, old poems, I know to stop flowing. I dream high but stay low, spit, row, go. I work hard and play later, is this just for show? Won't you listen to my words and tell me, don't you really know? I said, if you ask me a question, I'll tell you no lies. I said, if you ask me a question, 
I tell you no lies. I'm flying high like flies and butterflies over rainbows. We're rocking the old school Kango. I imagine myself sitting on the beach eating a Jamaican mango while I'm quarantined hating bummer clocks. I'm going to keep spitting because the tick tock on my clock don't stop. I'm shooting stars into the middle of nowhere. Shooting stars into the middle of nowhere. I'm shooting stars into the middle of nowhere. I'm shooting stars into the middle of nowhere. Thank you, y'all. We want to really thank you all for coming out tonight. Like we said, we party for a cause, and the cause this evening, um, proceeds will be donated to Manassa Ministry. Manassa Ministry, by the leadership of Reverend Jackson, is very active in our community. Um, he's one of those pastors that go out, give out blankets, food, clothes, shoes, wherever he sees the needs, he tries to fill it. So right now, his purpose is to provide scholarships to high school students whose parents are incarcerated. And we all know just as parents, college is challenging enough for us that's here with our children able to provide that support. So imagine those children that's really trying and they just don't have the supports because their parents are incarcerated. So we are happy to present Reverend Jackson with a check this evening for $1,000.